Good morning, Lehigh Valley. I know it's a little bit early for our webcast, but in our series of last week, we were with the giraffes, the week before, Coca-Cola Park. This week, we are showcasing a jewel that we have in Lehigh Valley, the Allentown Art Museum. Started in the Great Depression, even though things were going on that were terrible in the economy, people were out of work, suffering, we realized the importance of art in our culture. And we have right here in the middle of Allentown a beautiful example of something that came about in that time period that is still flourishing and expanding. And we're standing here in front of an unbelievable exhibit that is about to take place here in the Allentown Art Museum but Max, you are the expert here, so I'm gonna let you tell the people what's going on. Absolutely, thanks, Phil. Uh, my name is Max Weintraub. I'm the president and CEO of the Allentown Art Museum. We're delighted to give you the first look at our Rembrandt painting. Now, as Phil said, the museum was founded in the 1930s during the Great Depression. And one of the big moments in our history is in the early 1960s, Samuel Kress gifted to the museum 53 masterworks of, of Baroque and Renaissance painting and sculpture. Among those 53 works was this painting here, a 1632 portrait of a young woman. And at the time, it was believed to be, and really since its making, it was a Rembrandt. The Dutch master painter was one of the, the most celebrated painters in history. And in 1970, that, that attribution to Rembrandt was called into question. Uh, there was a lot of of varnish on the work, there was a lot of dust and debris on the work, and they couldn't see the detail that made this painting a Rembrandt. Well, fast forward to two years ago, when it went away for, to be studied and for conservation, to be cleaned up and to be preserved for future generations. And during the course of that process, over two years, they cleaned away layers and layers of varnish, which was a clear liquid that they would put on paintings so that it would protect the surface. And what they soon realized that other people had painted over sections of the work and layers and layers of varnish had, had covered over the detail, the gorgeous detail and brushwork that really makes a Rembrandt a Rembrandt. And so they soon realized that this was indeed a painting, one of the few paintings, portraits by Rembrandt. And so this is an exhibition that celebrates the return of this painting to our collection. It went away as something that was considered to be from the studio of Rembrandt, but now comes back as a full-fledged Rembrandt painting. And this exhibition, which opens up this weekend, explores the science of conservation, so it really unpacks the process that the conservators went through to, to clean the work, to preserve the work, and to sort of incidentally reveal the work as a Rembrandt painting. The details of her, of her gown, the, the tones of her face are all things that, that reveal to them that it was a Rembrandt. And when you come into the museum, you'll be able to look closely at the painting and see for yourselves why this painting is such a magical work of art. And Max, this is why we're here today, to celebrate the different cultural things that we have right here in Lehigh Valley. You don't need to travel to a museum to Philadelphia, to New York City right here opening up this weekend in Lehigh County in the center in Allentown. We have Rembrandt and the rest of this museum. Please come out, enjoy what's right here in the valley. And remember as always, mask 